Castel. Yeah. So it's official. You pay 50 CDs and then you can enter here. No, I'm going to do it. Okay. Oh, you don't want to go on your own? I mean, I'm joking. Before the introduction of the scene, but here, the Portuguese tried to spread the Catholic religion. That is why. When the Portuguese came, they were pro protesting against the, 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 sorry, the Dutch. So they were not Catholic, the Dutch were Protestants. Mm -hmm. So in this castle, there are two churches here. This one is the first Christian church the Portuguese built. Very good one. There was a tower on top because they were Catholics. And when Dutch took over, Dutch were not Catholics. They were Protestants. So they did not see this one as their church. And what they did was that they divided this church into two. And they used the ground floor like this one as their auctioning hall, where they were auctioning human beings. Then they created a way here up. You see, it's best part. So as you can see, soldiers in this. The junior soldiers were drinking and enjoying themselves up. And you know what they did? They built their own church, ironically, on top of a tiny female woman. So they were worshiping God up, human beings. So we call it. Dutch Reformed Church or Protestant Church. So there were Protestants and also the Catholics. And when you go to Cape Coast as well, British also builds their own church, Society for the Propagation of the Gospel, SPG, also on top of a male body, so it's Christianity. But some of them were not Christians as well. So as we go around, I'll show you some symbols that the picture that show that some were not Christians and others were also Christians. Any question? No, the compass uh, the four point is still working. Is still working. Oh, but if you know how to read, you can read it right here. But yeah. right there, there are some, you can see. When you, when you stand there, you can see. So you see, not east, south, west, you can see. If you can read it, you can just read it. This one is the compass. I will show you that I see. Right at the four of the castle. So the whole castle is this one. Do you know where you are now? Where are you now? You are here. This is it. This is it. This is it. Yeah. Okay. okay, now let's go to you. From these two cells. The rest of the rooms on the ground floor round up to this side mm -hmm. were dungeons for the male slaves. Okay. The male slaves were about 600. The female slaves were about 400. So at one time, this castle held approximately 1,000 slaves. Wow. The governor of the castle was up there. He was on top of everybody. Middle one for the assistant governor. And the rest of the rooms were for soldiers. We have missionaries on this side. The merchants. So yes, the missionaries. The soldiers were if there's more than Yeah, but they were protected. Okay. And look at this wall, the slanted was the walls of the castle when they took over from the Portuguese. Mm -hmm. And the metal, the iron race on top of it, also added by the British. British used the castle as police training school in 1948. Policemen were climbing up and down for training or exercise. Mm -hmm. Now, when you look up there, we have two watchtowers. Have you seen them? Mm. Look at this one. The one at the right corner side and then the one at the left. Mm. Dutch other them, soldiers were up to look on the sea for any possible attack. Mm. Now, see, look. When British took over, British converted the towers into prisons. So what the British did was that they divided this church into two. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, they, they captured a, 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 a cane from... Ashanti region. Mm. The name of the king is Prempe the first. Nana Akwesi Ajiman Prempe. And the king was imprisoned in this one for four years. From here, he was sent to Freetown in Sierra Leone one year. 
Ashantis went there. So the king was exiled to Seychelles Island across the Indian Ocean. Mm -hmm. The same British also captured a queen mother, a very brave woman. She led people to fight the British. The name is Ya Asantua. Asantua yeah. The woman was imprisoned in this one for one year and she was also exiled to Seychelles Island. And they did all these things to them because they resisted British rule. They didn't want the British to rule. Now, the governor was on top of everybody, as I said. And this, I want to show you the symbol. Look at the symbol. Have you seen the symbol? The circle and triangle. It shows that some of them were not Christians. These are secret society symbols. The circle means eternity, and the triangle is perfection. So some were not Christians as well. Now, let's see. Like that? Mm -hmm. eh? Come on, the one you're most like that. What do you eh? What do you say? Yeah, you're being too emotional. I'm crying, it's natural. I mean, if I don't cry here, where, where am I gonna cry? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> now, look, this is Dutch. I pull me. In the front of me. This is Dutch and it's old, old Dutch. When Dutch were here, one of their governors died. So they wrote this one to remember the governor. That's the name, look. The name is Tet. The governor is from New Zealand. And this is one of the provinces in the Netherlands. He was the last director general over the north and south coast of Africa. The governor arrived here on the 16th of January, 1758. He died 12th of March, the same year when he was 41 years old. Yeah, malaria. Hmm. And this is a tribute written by a priest, a tribute to the governor. The name of the priest is A. Andres. And the priest is from Vienna, and this is a village in Zealand. What the priest is saying is that when this governor was alive, he was very humble, he was honest and God fearing. <laughs> Died on a bell. Now let's compare this. So, uh, we have this. We have this. Whoa. Jesus Christ. As a form of punishment, they were in this one. Mm. And later, they will be released. They did that just to set as an example for the rest of the Europeans. Mm. That's why you can see this cell is well ventilated. Mm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is much worse. I remember that from my car, they had the same thing. Oh, that's look at the Jesus Christ. Oh, my days. Uh -oh. ah. You can't see anything here. <laughs> now, this was a cell for the uh, slaves, those who tried to escape, and those who were fighting their masters to be released. They were in this one. No food, no water until you die. So this was a death or condemn self for the slaves. Mm -hmm. That is why you can see there is a crossbow and a scar. Mm -hmm. So whoever came here died. My brother, come. Why should you? Don't tell me they did it. 
I've got a spare tire, we can fix it. Forget him. He just one. You, you see what I told you about? Oh, are, they, are those clothes for. What is this? Oh my god. Oh. Now look, so these are the original bars that they use at this side. But today these are wooden bars. Because of the sea, the original ones are getting dusty, so all of them have been replaced with wood. When you look on the floor, the clothes that you see, there was a program here. It was held on 3rd July 2015. And the title for the program is The Return of the Slaves. So many people came here, some from the States, some from UK, Nigeria, Ivory Coast, Togo, so many places. They slept on this dungeon for one night. Just to have a feel of how the uh, captives felt or the slaves felt when they were in the dungeon. So this is what they is it? Yeah. And even, you see, uh, the next day when we came, security told us that after the program, some of them fell sick and then they were rushed to the hospital. So you can imagine uh, what, what was going on when the slave people were Now, I've already told you that in this castle there are two churches. Mm -hmm. When the Portuguese came, they built their own church over there, Catholic church, but they were Catholics. When Dutch took over, they were not Catholics. Dutch were Protestants. So they also built their own church on top of this dungeon. Mm -hmm. So they were worshipping God up. Human beings were down, also crying for God. Any question? How many people did you say? How many females? How many people? I, I, said, I said this side for uh, 400 women, but this dungeon is 70 people. 70 people. 70 people. Like uh, the, the, the slaves were divided. 70. Yeah, so all the rooms on the ground. Okay. No, no, no. Trying to imagine it's going to be No, no. This is what we did in the original floor. I will show you the original floor. We're going to wash the This one I'm very fast. Yes. Wow. Wow. This is what we did in the original floor. Mm -hmm. There were eight of such walls here, and there were chains connected. When the when Europeans were here, they said only the men came without their wives. So some of them were raping the women. There were soldiers here, missionaries, merchants, governor, and the governor's assistant. So those who refused to be raped, those who tried to escape. And those who were fighting the man to be relieved of the The horse were eight and they were chains connected. So it will be changed to the leg. And the person stands here, whether there was rain or sunshine. Jesus so Christ. For the female slaves, punishment came in the form of public humiliation. Oh, okay. That read no food, no water. When they see that you are very weak, and then you will be released. And they did that just to put fear. In the rest of the women in the country. So anytime you are called to do something, quickly you have to obey. That is the Now let's have a look. Water reservoir. Yeah, water water. Reservoir. Yeah, water reservoir. It's rainwater. It is oh, not it's underground. Water reservoir. So they connected pipes like this ones right on top of the building. And whenever it rains, it passes through. The water was filtered over there, and clean one will be harvested here. This one covers the entire floor, the whole floor. 
We are all standing on it. Wow. And when it is full, we have 20,000 gallons of water. Wow. For domestic use only. Wow. Now the figure again. The, the figure again. How many? How many liters? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Wow. There's a balcony where the governor of the castle stands. Okay. Anytime he wants to break one of the women. Oh. And he says some of the women will be assembled as we are, and he chooses the one he likes. Jesus. You have to fetch water for the one chosen by the governor to wash down. Maybe the person might have been in the dungeon for so long without taking her bath, and after the humiliation. They still have to force the woman to climb the steps that you see there. Yes. Let's have a look. Yes, the selected one will be forced to climb this. There's a trap door on top, they open it and up the door to the governor's bedroom. Mm -hmm. And after the rape, the woman still comes back as a slave. And because of what happened, they said a lot of them got pregnant. And those who got pregnant were free. But the slaves were not from Ghana alone, as I said, some from Nigeria. Ivory Coast, Togo, and so many places. That was like a hub. So those who were free, some of them could not trace their origin. Now, when they gave birth, the children were light skinned. So they, they later built houses outside the castle for the women who were pregnant. And they brought the children here. Those children were educated, they were not slaves. You see, that's why today in Ghana, it is common to hear names like Vanderpool. Mm. Van Dyke, mm. Fiela, Tihir, Smith, Da Costa, Makassi, Johnson, Glancin, and the rest of the names. Uh, I mean, there's going to be another reason why we have a lot of the uh, last came along, along the coast. Yes, that is it. Governor's descendants. <laughs> <laughs> And they were forced to pass through this. And when you get out, 
you see the door of no return. The big ships were ready to take them away. These bars you see were not there at that time. Later, when the slave trade was over, they placed these bars to make sure nobody falls down. Also, there were stairs. Today, the stairs have been destroyed and there is a drainage system constructed. Because when it rains heavily, sometimes it disturbs. So they did this. Whenever there is heavy downpour, the rains will just get out of the castle and then to join the sea. So we are going to see the door of no return. <laughs> Slave exit to waiting boat. So all the male slaves who survived also pass through this one and then to the door of the hotel. The small room that you see back there, that was where they kept branding irons. The male slaves were branded, and branding irons had the initials of the slave masters and job. So they have to put T, we have initials like I T A. International Trading Association. There are some like JSS, John Smith Slave. They put that side in fire very hot. Where we moved, touch either your chest, your arms, or your back. So the marks will be there for easy identification. That's where they kept the hand. Now, this side, you have to mind your head, watch your head, and also there is one step down. Men were from this side, and I told you there were steps. Mm. The men were from here. So this was a place that I, I think many of them saw themselves the first time they were brought to the dungeons. Because um, at that time, a whole family could have been captured. And when they were brought here, they separated all of them. So the ships came, women were from this side, the men were also from here. So husbands and wives saw themselves the first time here, brothers and sisters. And I, I believe even friends, they were all in chains. And I strongly believe that some of them will be crying. They bow through this. That is where we have the door of the hotel. And this side, you have to bow very low. Count five steps. After the steps, you can raise up here. <laughs> So please let's move from the side. I mean, like, they will be there. Let's go to the bathroom. Let's go to the Today it has receded. So there was a ladder down and a small canoe took the slaves from here to the big ships and off to America or Caribbean or plantations. And according to the history, those who died at sea were more than those who died in the tensions mm -hmm. because of how they were packed in the ship. And even when the slave trade was going on, there was somebody around. He was a captain of a slave ship. The name of the man is John Newton. He gave an example that when the ship takes some of the slaves, either one third or half died. But surprisingly, the captain of the slave ship later became a priest. Yeah, and he wrote this song. Do you know this song, uh, Amazing Grace? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is his song. He was actively involved, and later he regretted and repented, and he wrote that powerful 